Gaz, this is totally old school, battle report. That's what we're gonna do. We're play testing Ravage Star. We have painted models. We're gonna be doing it. Rule set isn't 100% ironed out. However, we're gonna be showing off mechanics in this game. Quick link down below to campaign if you wanna see these models. And November 7th is the launch date to actually order miniatures, okay? So far we have Veil Touched here. Okay, I, I'm using the Veil Touched. You are. And we have Gorkog here. And Gorkog here. So let's give you a really quick rundown. Commander in my army is Davicus the Afflicted. He is the commander. So I gotta get Gaz's reaction to the video. Only because that's the only model you're actually gonna like focus on. Is that what you think? Is that that? I just I've never fielded him yet with the new rules. With the, the new rules. That's yes. why, right? Now, for regular units, we have two cultist units. One over here, one here. Got a unit of enforcers, which will be traveling inside of VTAT. This is a veil touched armor transport, which we've never fielded yet. So we're going to test out the rules for it here to see how it plays. And then we have an apocalypse right here. That's the name of this tank, which is going to be firing off some awesome shots with its massive apocalypse cannon. And that's my force. Let's take a look at Gaz's force. So, commanding the Gorkog Horde today is the Razor Queen in the middle there. And she is flanked by her little Razor Spawns. Over this side of the table, I've got my Blade Furies. Now that's all I'm starting with. That's all you're starting with on the yeah. table. Because in advanced deployment over there... Advanced deployment over here. Yep, <laughs> I've got my Flesh Stealers. Okay, so Flesh Stealers. I have my Razor Worm. And then worm. my Ankarian, if I'm pronouncing that right, Flesh Melter in the middle there. Then the Flesh Melter in the middle. Yep. Awesome. So the entire army that you have is available in the second Ravage Star campaign. So awesome. Love it. Okay, that's what you got. Activation mechanic in this game is determined by these tokens. Each token represents a different unit. Up top here, you see those multiple horns. That's the commander. That's Davicus for me. That's an elite token. That'll be the enforcers. Two regulars, which are the two cultists. These are two support tokens, the two tanks that I have. And then these are boost tokens, mm -hmm. which activate special abilities on units. You'll see in a moment how that works. As a default, you get two boost tokens. If you have a commander who's alive on the battlefield, you get a third. So this is my army composition. Mm -hmm. I have one commander, one elite, three troops, two supports, and the same corresponding number of boost tokens as Dave. Quick note on the troop slash regular units, which are the cultists and the razor spawn. We're calling them regular right now. We are. Uh, but that's a placeholder name. Don't kind of like it. So any suggestions you guys have for what the mainstay yeah. of the armies, like the core, right? There's other yeah. gaming systems where the equivalents are troops or I battle line troop. or whatever. Yeah, it's easy to say troop, but it's weird to say troop when it refers to a bug. So it's mm. like, what is a good name that is a general name that can describe any armies? Equivalent, yes. right? Suggestions below. Please we look at all of the comments, and this I'm, is feedback driven. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> Please help. Please help. <laughs> Taking a look at the scenario now, we got four objectives. They are numbered one, two, three, four. At the beginning of the battle round, we're going to roll the die to see how much victory points they're worth, and uh, we'll try to get those objectives. So it's it's turn based. Um, we and, shall try. Yeah. There you go. And let's jump right in. All right, okay, which, which so objective? Let's go for number one is worth two. Okay. VP. That objective is worth two points. It's in your zone there. Right, and Gaz. it's also in my favor. Okay, we rolled that dice and then we both looked at each other and went, how are we going to figure this out? <laughs> I so, know. But what I don't want happening is you get an extra boost token, but we'll play it as it lies. So, we'll play it as it lies. Because you want an extra boost token. Uh, will I now? Will I? So there we go. All the other objectives are worth one victory point. Scored at the end of each round. And we'll go four rounds for this game. Four? Yeah, sure. Why not five? We could go five, but right I'll... now, that's not determined, right? So it's like, could be four rounds, five rounds. Do you want it to be five? I want it to be five, because the last, the last game we played, it would have been in my favor to go five. So I yes. predict the same is going to happen. So can we go five? How about in four plus, it goes five. It's fair. Should we do that now? Yeah, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative phase. First things first, we're going to put all the tokens in a bag. I'm right, putting which we'll all have. We'll have those uh, when the game launches. 
And then we start right away. So we pull the first token and we see who oh, goes. You're purple, aren't you? I am purple and you're green. That makes perfect sense because so, it's going to be a green. That's purple. purple. So That's purple. a boost purple. What? Yes. Oh, oh, good. Do you know what? Use it. Y yeah, you yeah, want me to use, use it, it yeah, right? Use oh, it. you better believe I'm going to yeah, use, use it. it. Yeah. I'm going to activate my apocalypse. This is pre measured. Just move it forward six inches. And I'm going to boost it. So every unit has a boost ability in addition to the regular abilities that you can only use with a boost token. Boost tokens can be applied to any unit. So I'm going to fire the Apocalypse Cannon at your, uh, what are those play theories? Uh, yes. Okay, awesome. Let's do it. So here we go. So one weapon there. Um, out of the two boost, it's multi-fire or Apocalypse Cannon gains Reaping 7 plus. Now, for the D10s, this is a D10 system, by the way. Yes. So <clears throat> for each 7 plus I get when I'm firing, I get additional auto hits. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. And what do I need to hit? We look at the accuracy of the weapon, which is three plus three with plus. three attacks. Okay, now the other thing too, guys, is it's anti-armor seven plus. Now the only armored unit you have is your razor worm, which is like not on the board yet. Nope. So when you activate well, it, you have the option of doing I th that. I think, you know, uh, no, the Razor Queen's armored, sorry. Oh, it is? Yeah, we're still learning. I'm still not going to fire at it. I want Why? to fire at your Blade Furies because you're hiding in the back and it looks like you should be fired at. I'm not hiding in the back. It's, uh, do you want to put them in the open for you? If you want to not receive the benefit of cover, I agree with this life choice. Oh, I get cover, don't I? You do get cover. So yeah. while we're <laughs> talking about cover, there's two types of cover. There's light and heavy. So in this case, anything that's big, like this and this and... That under there, those big crates, that's heavy cover. Yep. And then light cover is like the barricades and this like bushes and stuff. Yeah, but my Blade Furies always count as being in heavy cover. <laughs> they don't really, they, no, they don't really. I wish they did. All right. So, Where's that green pen with that? So currently, currently cover means that, let's say it's behind light cover, which they are, right? Is that light cover that they're? Yes, that okay. is light cover, yes. It's we, minus one to my accuracy roll, okay, if I'm firing at them. Also, ranges are a thing. Now the range of this gun is 12 inches. And so that's the short range of this gun. No penalty to accuracy. So 12 to 24 inches, that's medium range. It's minus one of my accuracy. So we've got to measure and see how far it is. It's probably more than 24, but if it's within 24. You, you are within 24. Okay. You are. So that's a minus one accuracy because of range, minus one because of light cover. So minus two accuracy. So you're hitting on fives? I'm hitting on uh, fives because uh, my accuracy is three plus. Yeah, so it's fives and d10s. And with three attacks, so three dice. With okay. reaping seven plus. Yeah, with reaping seven plus. I gotta get your face, I gotta get the reaction. This is, I missed this so much. It's been so long since I filmed a bat rep like this. Gaz, uh, pure joy. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> wait, wait there, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I think we should pen that now. I think three plus is too much. You I think, think we should leave some comments below we and think. I haven't even tested it yet. We're <laughs> legit play testing this. Okay, so here we go. So it's the three plus. Okay, look at that. So I missed one. Yep. Okay, now there's a Reaping 7 Plus. For every 7 so Plus, it's an auto hit. Goes back that in. brings in, so that's three three hits. And for you, you just make a defense roll. I don't think I'm actually going to get a defense off this, though. What's the minus on it? Okay, so the armor penetration value is five. Okay, so here's the thing. Right? Minus five? It's five. Okay. Okay, so you get you get no what I, I get ten because a ten's always a success. A, a ten is always a, but a success. But my defense is five. Your defense is five. So take away the five, that'll be ten anyway. So I've got to roll tens. And that's how AP Easy. works against your defense. Tens? What are you talking about? You got a ten. I got a ten. And two eights. That's that was pretty close. good actually. Yeah. Close. yeah, not bad. Yeah, now I'll it's take that. five damage. Sorry for whipping around here, guys, but okay. So here we go. This is how this works. It is five damage. So that's, okay, you just removed two of them. There's, there's two of them removed, because wounds don't spill, uh, over. spill over into the unit. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah, so five damage each. And how many wounds are they each? Like two? Uh, they are two, two wounds apiece, yeah. Two wounds apiece. Okay, so two eliminated. Excellent. Ooh, you started uh, at five. I started at five. If you go below half strength, you got to make a morale test. I do. shaken, but <clears throat> didn't happen. Have you got any stunning or anything on that weapon? Um, that weapon does cause stunning, actually. Thank you very much for the reminder. So, really? stunning, which uh -huh. means you've got to make a shaken test, right? A morale test. So. Which mine's on a 5+, plus, which is quite high. Which okay. makes sense because they one of their boost actions very quickly is they can move, they have an extra action. Mm -hmm. So, in my eyes, they kind of act independently. Hence, they've probably got a high leadership. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what happens. And they are... You got 5? There's 5+. plus. That was close. That was close. It is 5+, plus, yeah. I'm not, I'm not cheating. Yes. Okay. It is 5+, plus, yeah. All right. So, all right. Now we do next activation. Next activation. And it is a... 
She again. She's one of your supports. Oh, it's a support again. Ah, All but right. because so you've used one of your supports already, you've only got the VTAT. Correct. So in my army, two support units. It's the Apocalypse and the VTAT. Veil Touched Armor Transport, VTAT. So here mm -hmm. we go. I've got to activate that. I'm going to move it forward because what else can I do? Yep. Right? Why not? So it moves eight inches. So we're going to go up here. Now, every unit gets two actions, right? So it's one action to move, and it's counts as a double action to run. To run, yes. Right? And so and when you run, you move half your move distance in addition to your move. So we moved eight and an extra four, so we'll just go like that. That's it, done. Next activation. You, what you got? Oh, a boost! I want a boost. You get a boost. Oh, yeah. you get a boost, and I get a boost, and you get a boost. Get a boost. Okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah. So we put the uh, tokens next to the units. That's how we're doing it right now. When there's cards, eventually, you can put the tokens on the cards, or you can put it next to the units, doesn't matter. All right. So as Gaz is deciding which unit he wants to boost, I'm gonna explain something really quick. In Ravage Star, there are universal special rules. And each unit from each faction draws from the same universal special rules. So if a unit has redeploy, which your unit, some of your units do, which is why they they're starting do. off at the table, then we know what that means. Whether it's your unit that has redeploy, my unit that has redeploy, it's excellent, right? It's easier. So if I tell you what it has, you know what it means. Thank you, Matt, for doing that. By the way, massive shout out to Matt. Huge. Matt is the one, by the way, this is all Matt's fault, okay? He's the rules guy, he's the one making up the rules. He created like the new framework for this that we're kind of working within. All of the text here that's red, those are the most recent changes to the rules. Mm -hmm. And very soon, guys, we're going to be releasing these so you can look at them too, you can read them, and you can actually play test as well. Right now, there's too many changes happening. Um, and like, after one game, there might be a dozen changes. So like, we just wanted to share this experience with you because there's some things we haven't play tested yet and we wanted to go through the process of it. We might as well follow oh, yeah. Okay, have you decided? Uh, yes, I'm gonna activate or bring on my Ankarian Flesh Melter. Mm. And it's gotta be eight inches away from any enemy unit. Yes. So I reckon I'm gonna be quite safe up here. I'll just double check that. Now this unit has flies, so you can just ignore terrain or whatever. Bit, but it doesn't matter because you're redeploying anyway, yeah? Yeah, a little bit over there. So I'm within, so I am within eight. And then, yep, yeah, I'm eight away from that one. Okay. And then, now here where it becomes tricky, and here's where we need to have a conversation about this. Mm -hmm. Final position of the flesh melter. What's the logic behind moving it there? Okay, so again, this is this is a learning experience. With the boost of the flesh melter, its weapon has Nova 2, but short. So Nova. Nova means whatever the number in X is, you get to fire at that number of units within the range. Okay. So for example, Nova 2, I could fire at two separate units. Two separate units, okay, cool. But as the rules stand right now, <laughs> It becomes short, which means I can only fire its base profile um, range. Okay. So if it's eight inches, I can only fire eight inches. I can't fire 16 and then 24. Inches. I can't do that, right. so it's eight. No, yeah. And this is why we do this. This is interesting you know? because when you redeploy, you have to do more than eight inches away, which means you can't fire at anything when you redeploy it. So right now, my Nova 2 is redundant. It's redundant. But it still it still has a place because next turn if I pull a boost token, then I can then move up and then, you know, attack. But I still want it there because it's it's harassing your tanks, anti armor. You know what? This is what I'll say because I got to admit, bringing that in and not being able to shoot at anything. Oh, it... I can still shoot at you. How? Because um, I'm not going to use the the boost for the flesh melter and Nova two. Um, I'm just going to use the, the the base start of the weapon. Oh, now I understand. Yeah. Okay, you're not using the bo the boost nova, so you and just you fire at one unit. Yeah, and for this, we'll we'll put it down as a learning curve. That's all this is. Because if I if, if I take that back now, I'm not going to learn. Yeah. So that's that, how you, you learn. Yeah. You, you learn by making mistakes. So oh. I'm going to roll with the mistake and just fire my flesh melter at you, which is still, you know. And you're saying flesh melter. <clears throat> yes, flesh melter. Okay. That's the weapon. Not a melter, but yes, a melter. Flesh melter. <laughs> Not melter, but melter. <laughs> okay. Melter. All right, this is taking way long. Yeah, sorry. Okay, all right. Okay, three attacks. Um, accuracy is three plus, minus one, so four what plus. What are you firing one. at? You're flipping a pop. Oh, my box? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm going to fire you at Vita. 
So you're minus one then because you're medium range. I'm minus one because I'm medium range. Okay. So, thank you. Three hits. Um, but no uh, anti-armor there, but three hits. So that's damage two AP one. My apocalypse is armored three, which states that any AP three or less is kind of automatically negated. Yep. So I'll just roll my regular defense, which is five plus. Two and one goes through. How much damage? Two damage. Okay, so that is 20 wounds down to 18. I'll take that. Do vehicles, this is a good question actually, do vehicles get affected by stunning? That's a good question. I we'll have to write do. that down and ask the rules master. Why don't we just say it does for now? We got to determine that, right? <laughs> say now again. No, I, I've <laughs> been hanging out with you too long. Nice. No, um, that, okay, again, this is all good. You know what? It doesn't say that it doesn't, correct? True. Therefore, it does. It does. Yeah. So that You know was... what? That, that makes sense. You can stun a tank. Are you kidding me? And, yeah. and, how much, how, is that worth four models, that tank? For the purposes of? Of blast. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Apologies. Then I need to roll one extra dice. because it, No, it's two extra dice because it has blast. I'm sorry. This is what we learn. Yeah. So sorry. Go. It has a blast rule. It has a blast rule. So I get to roll extra. half the number um, of half the number of dice that that model or unit is classed as. So for example, the apocalypse is classed as four models, half of that is two. So two extra dice, which I should have rolled. Yeah. Which does matter. Okay, so with one more and I need a, what, five plus? Uh, no, because uh, nine plus is anti-armor, so you don't get a save. Oh, you're right. So that's extra two damage. Gone. That is, yeah. okay, so anti-armor, whatever the armor, what, nine plus? Nine plus, yeah. So any nines are higher, I get no defensive roll. And it's two Only damage. Only have a 10% chance of doing it. So it's four damage in total. Four damage in total. Down to two corns. Okay, Down so I'm two. 16 wounds remaining. <laughs> and you owe me a stunning test, please. Oh. Or a leadership check. Okay, so my leadership is uh, five plus on that. So I'll just roll for it right now. Okay, that's Ooh. five. Ooh. Shaken but not yeah, stirred. Shake. Cool. Oh, very that's good. it. Activating next. What is it? It's another oh, my green. commander. It's a commander. Okay, so my Razor Queen. Um, I think I'll know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to run her at the board straight into the red sludge because my plan eventually is to move these two up here. I've just told you my plan. That's fine. I'll forget it. True. So my six. Um, so she will move with a run, which is a double action, nine inches <laughs> straight through the sludge there. Is that the sound of uh, her walking through the sludge? Can you make your predator noise? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Razor Queen activated. Yep. Next unit. Next unit is, uh, ooh, it's you boost. Not, what, what's with the boost, man? I don't want them all now. You're more than welcome to pick up that pack. Yeah, okay, I guess that's fair. I'll be activating, boosting my cultist units here with the ranged attack, okay? And so how you move is you move the leader from the unit, and if it's not visibly obvious, you can just nominate one. Like in your case, all your razor work, your razor spawn looks the same, you just say which one is which. Which I have a leaderless role. So oh. as per action, I get to nominate a leader uh, per that action. So if I move, we'll explain that as of when it comes. Yeah, as, when we activate that, we'll explain. Yeah. Right now, I do have an obvious leader, so I'm going to move her first. And then I move everyone else within three of the leader and within one inch of everyone else. Right? And that's coherency. Easy. So we're going to move forwards and then shoot at you. Shoot at your flesh melta. Flesh melter. Thank you for the correction. It's a melter. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, yeah, fire achieve the guns. Now it's boosted, which means my ranged weapons gain the reaping eight plus rule. Any eight plus are additional auto hits. Now it's in medium range, so it's minus one accuracy. For me, it is sixes to hit you, but it's now sevens to hit you because of the range. Here we go. Looking for sevens. Any eight pluses are good. We got two uh, crits there, which are excellent, and <laughs> it looks like they're the only ones. So. Uh, looks like it's four hits in total, <clears throat> and yeah. that's uh, damage one, no AP. Uh, so damage one, no AP, so I'm armored. Doesn't matter. Armored two, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't so matter. Uh, my defense actually is, where is my defense? Oh, there it is, five plus, so. Five plus. Ooh, two go through. Two go through. Okay, yeah. so I'm down to 13 wounds. Okay, so start at 15, down to, I love it. So even just like, even the cultist unit, still able to do something. Cause that's a scary looking unit, man. Not gonna lie. Looks like you can just like melt them all. This goes up to 14, but we'll just. Actually, no, we'll do 13. Yeah. 
It's just the enjoyment of playing. My brain's all too much. Okay, yeah. there we go. Cool. Next time. Blip next, token. Next activation. And it is a, it's me and it's a troop. It's a troop? Okay. Awesome. You're calling it a troop. Okay, yeah. Well, Sorry, a regular. You know what? Here's the deal. It's not permanently named. Just call it a troop. A you know what you were saying when you yeah. say troop? It's just easy. It rolls is it T R O U P E? Is it trop? That's, is that? It's a trop. <laughs> so I'm going to activate my razor spawns here and just do a run move to get me behind this little container here. Cool. Now the leadership, the leaderless mm -hmm. mechanic is, I nominate a leader during my action. Okay, so I'll put all these here. And you gotta move the leader first, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, once I've finished the action. Really? So you yeah. nominate after you move? After you move Ooh. or after you do something, it doesn't actually say yet when you nominate the leader, mm -hmm. it says during the action. So right now, that guy, right there. Which one? This one Just, okay. is my leader. All right, well, I guess that makes sense. It's uh, coherency. Everything's within three of the leader, one inch of each other, it's all good. True, and it, it, it helps as well. So if you've got a leader, and it's per action, uh, per round. So yeah. if you had a leader at the back, and say, if you want to claim an objective, then you could just swap them over next round. It's awesome. <laughs> Every time you activate, you nominate the leader? Yeah. Dang. It's awesome, I love it. Yeah. Next Let's activation. Go. Ooh, you get a boost. I get a boost, you get a boost, everyone gets a boost. I don't know what I'm gonna do already. All right, guys, what you doing? No, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, redeploying these guys. You're boosting your flesh dealers. I am. Started off in redeployment. I did, which is not their, never do their boost. Their boost is I get anti-armor seven plus. Which means for every seven plus, I don't get a defensive roll. No, you do not. I'm firing at uh, something that's armored, which is my apocalypse. Yep. Hmm. I'm just gonna push hmm. these back just slightly so they're 18 inches away. So we're all nice and legal. So I'm gonna shoot your apocalypse now. Huh. Which is... I don't know how I feel about this, huh? Well, hmm. to be honest, buddy, I have no sympathy. Two shots each. <laughs> okay. Nor should you. Why would you have why, sympathy Why would I have this? sympathy? Uh, two shots each. Um, point blank one. Unfortunately, I'm not within point blank one, so if I was in short range, I'd get an extra attack. Mm -hmm. But I'm not at medium range. And I'm normally hitting on fives, but hitting on sixes because of the penalty to accuracy. But I'm looking for sevens. Looking for sevens. Looking for sevens. And there's a few. Oh Ooh. my goodness, you got four sevens One, plus a crit. Two, three, four, five. Dude, this could spell a bit of doom. I mean, they're only damage one, but still. So that's five auto damage. Uh, yes, with one, two. Okay, so you got five auto damage because it was anti-armor. Uh-huh. And then you've got two saves at no AP. At no AP. No AP. Okay, well, good. Because my defense is five plus. Okay, let's roll that. So that's a six, that's a save, and that's a seven, so they're fine. But I do take five damage. You do take five damage, yeah, and there's nothing else on that weapon profile, so just five straight up damage. I'm down to I'll 11 take that. wounds. I'll take left. that off yeah. a 20 wound yep. apocalypse. Yeah. See, that's, that's what I would expect, actually. Something like this, coming in, firing, doing a bit of damage. Yeah, nuts. Awesome. Next activation. Finally! Excuse me. What do you mean finally? Finally, I get to do something. Okay, so right here, it's a, that's my only other uh, regular. So I will move forward and then I will run for double action to get on that objective. I mean, that's fantastic. Could you just put that boost token next to my unit over there, please? Thank yes. you. Okay, there you go. Let's move in the last one here, within three inches of the leader, within one inch of each other. Activated, done. Okay, next. Next is a... I'm not even, I'm boost, not even joking, another it's a boost, boost, it's another boost. I'm not even, yeah, okay, which actually works out really well. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the Razor Spawn okay. to give them a defense five plus, as opposed to their six plus. So you're going to ground with them? No, I'm gonna move them. Mm -hmm. Oh, cause that's their boost? That's their boost, sorry, yes. Gotcha. So I'm gonna move them first for one action, yep. and then boot, with their boost ability, put them to a defense of five plus, okay. which is as much as your tank. Yeah. Like what? Well, wow. razor spawns, what they wow. do, they kind of like honk in the shell yeah. and whatnot. So yeah, I'll just move up to the objective. And for this purposes of my leader model, mm -hmm. it will be this little guy right here. Where, where? That one. Okay. Yeah, that little tiny guy. And Next activation. Is so a, got, ooh, ooh, another boost. What's with the boost? Did you put like a whole bunch of boost in there on purpose? Well, the last one I pulled is regular, so that's a boost. Okay. I guess I believe you, I don't know. I can feel them like that. 
disembarking my unit of enforcers. Now, according to the disembarkation rules, it's got to be within two inches. So uh, that's what's happening. I don't gain my regular movement when moving outside of the transport. Because if so, we'd be able to actually go really far up the board. Also considering you can disembark after running, right? Yeah, I mean, so, but, imagine if it wasn't two. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, you could disembark I don't know, six and mm -hmm. then get a regular move and then a shot. It's yeah. like, what? Yeah, so yeah. I like that. It's two inches. So what I will do, though, is fire at your razor spawn that are on that objective. And I'm actually boosting them, aren't I? Right? Yes, you are. So with my boost on the enforcers, what I'm able to do is gain sniper. So what Sniper does is it negates any sort of penalties for not shooting within your range of your weapon. No range and modifiers apply. Range of the weapon is eight inches. So I'm guessing it's outside of eight when I fire at you? I believe so. Yeah, just outside of eight. So you would have incurred a penalty. Okay, so no penalty now? No penalty. All right, so there are two shots each and there's six there. So that's 12 shots. My accuracy is five. Okay, and I have snipers, so no penalty. And then reaping eight plus. So any eight pluses are extra hits, guys. Hang on. No, well, you said it was piercing, not reaping. No, that's for the boost. Oh, yeah, for yeah. the magical boost. And then apparently they've got reaping. Yeah. That's awesome. And so just to show again, why does it keep on changing color? It's so weird. Here, let's go over here. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. With the boost, see the special rules, right? That's uh, underneath that is boost. I can choose one, piercing or sniper. We know what sniper does and piercing just adds an additional minus two to your defense should I get eight pluses, but I gotta choose one or the other. I'm choosing sniper because uh, uh, I don't wanna incur that penalty. No, no penalty for actually. shooting. Yeah, um, and the gun itself there, see the guns up top, we got reaping eight plus, point blank. Point blank doesn't matter, I'm not shooting within the eight inches of it, but reaping does, so let's go ahead and roll. Pretty. I just gotta get your face oh, like, yeah. shaking your head there. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah this is gonna be yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, so uh, this is a 5 plus here. Uh, yeah, okay, that looks like it's uh, pretty good. It's Hang not, on. The, it's not that one, bad. Two, three, one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five. So you've got five reaping hits. Mm -hmm. So all those mit. You need more dice. I do need more dice. You need two more I dice? I need two more dice technically because reaping are auto hits. Right? And that's a really good amount of... Uh... Yeah, hang on, you don't need dice, I need the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so that's four, 14? No, 12. Yeah. 12, okay. And the AP? More than 12. What? More than 12, how yeah. many? Yeah, it's whatever is here. So that's uh, 14. Right. The shaking of the head is the best. Right. That's one of the best faces ever. Thank you very much. What's okay. the AP of this weapon? Uh, the AP of this weapon happens to be one. One, so I need sixes. Six five. Roll me good fortune, nickel razor spawns. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Bite the dust. So when reduced below half, you gotta take an immediate morale test to see if you're shaking. If you are shaking, you don't count as holding that objective at the end of the round. And if so, that's two victory points, not for you. What's my uh, leadership? Probably a six. Six plus? Yeah. Do you know what? Whatever it is, it'll be. You got an eight. Oh. Okay, you know what? It's I a... got the ace. You did. <laughs> Amazing. Well, okay, you know what? I got to say, that was incredibly satisfying. Right? Was. Incredibly it was. lucky. <laughs> it was lucky, too, that yeah. you got that, right? Because that, that's two victory points. Hey, if, if that boost wasn't in play to buff their defense, I can't remember the dice roll, but that could have gone worse. Oh, you know what? Hold on one second. You auto-passed morale, right? When you have a boost on you, so you can't actually get shaken. Yeah. Is that a thing? That's no. how that works. So. Is that an official? Yeah, not unofficial? but you passed anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's how that works. If you are shaken and you are boosted, you get, a, you get rid of the shaken. Yeah, that's it. All right, next activation. That's it's me. You. Support. Oh, oh, the razor worm. Razor worm. Here we okay, go. Okay, so I've got to deploy the razor worm, which is quite uh, its quite tricky because at the moment it doesn't have any range on it, so I need to place it somewhere. Oh, here's a question mm -hmm. that maybe we should talk about off camera. Ooh, I'm more intrigued. Okay. All because right. displacement right. is now a thing. Yes. Okay, so I've redeployed mm -hmm. my razor worm here, eight inches away from you, and then I'm just going to do a normal single cost move action, which is six inches. To bring me, I'm gonna put it on top of the crate, I think that's quite a... You can move wrong. through your own friendly units, so that's yep. cool. Nom, 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 nom. Um, just about there. And then I'm within three inches of the objective. 
I see. Yeah. So it's got a, I like the utility of that. Yeah. It goes five inch vertical for the purposes of whatever. Uh, and it's what? One inch horizontal? One inch horizontal. One inch horizontal. Yes. Yeah. For things to count as uh, being engaged. Engagement range is actually what that refers to. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we're going to count that as holding that objective, even though you're not engaged with it. Cause you gotta be within three of the center, right? So let's just count that as it because it's cool. Yes? <laughs> Hang on. Yes, so it's You could always just go over there and you're still within probably. Yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to stand on top Let's do it, do it. No, it, I'll, counts. I'll, I'll, no, it counts. We know where it's intended to be. No, no, rules oh. as written. Rules as written. I've just moved the pond, it's fine, but yeah. Rules as written, you're within eight, so like, uh, you know. Excuse me. So, um, can I ask a question quickly? Yes. Without dragging things out. So, it's the model count that counts towards the... Yes. Okay, so, okay, Tell, we'll, can, we'll, we'll figure that out later, yeah. Contesting objectives, so that's yeah. true. Even if you do hold it, I would have more there, therefore I would still hold that. Would you? Yeah. Oh, wait, you count as more models because you're like huge. So how many count as four? Four. Yeah, I think I still have, we might be tied according to how many, we, we should measure. Let's just measure. It's the, the, do you know what we should do? What? Pull. We should pull, yeah, that's, I can't. Tregular for me. Regular? A troop. <laughs> a troop? A troop. Uh, okay, so I've pulled a regular token, mm -hmm. but I have no more regular units to activate because I activated one mm -hmm. using a regular token, but I activated my other one using a boost. Yep. So that now just goes back in the bag and we repull. Take it out until, of the bag. Do and, we? And then you repull. Yeah. Sure? Yep. That's what it says in the rules. Because if, if you're pulled again, you have to put it back, but you could endlessly do it. I mean, that just makes sense. Yeah. Pretty sure Matt said yesterday, but if it's amendments to the rules, I apologize. Troop, so that goes out the bag. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Your troop. My troop. You know what? Both my troops are troop, activated. Sorry. Not troop, so sorry. that also goes out and then you're you regular. Again. Your elite. Ooh. I, I don't have an elite because uh, my one elite unit was activated with a boost, with a therefore boost? I also take that out. My elite. Do you have an elite that needs to be activated? I do have an elite that needs to be activated. Which I've been one? waiting. Which one? My, um... Oh, your Blade Furies? Yes. Okay. Which I'm, I'm simply just going to double move. Okay. Yeah. Nice and what's your movement on those guys? At six. So it's nine, which will take me comfortably behind this bit of heavy cover here. Like so. This one being the leader unit. And, uh, and Is that it for activation? Um... Do you know what? Should we just keep pulling the tokens? You know what? Go through it? Support. I've activated both my supports. I think only Davicus is left to go. Did you just pull the commander? No. Okay, so both my supports are done, so that token just comes out. Last but not least, Davicus. Davicus, okay. So he'll come out. Activating Davicus, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep inside the VTAT. Why? Because there's actually nothing to do. His pistol's three inches. He can't charge anything. That's what I'm doing. Right? And right now, does his aura abilities count when he's inside the VTAT? It doesn't say yes or no, but in the spirit of the game, what I'm going to say is this. It doesn't count. So I'm willing to forego that. I thought we did. I thought we agreed it counted, but it's only half range. Oh, is that what we said? That's what I said. Oh. I'm it, sure you were like, yeah, Is that what I good. agreed to? Did I agree to it? Yes. Did I even acknowledge you saying it? No. No. But I think that sounds better. It is a question for Matt though. Um, but I think for the purpose of this game, um, let's just say it does. And it's just half range. Instead of being 12, it's six. In either case, I'm staying inside the VTAP. In either case, I'm of staying course, inside. Yeah. yeah, so that's, that's, and that's the end of all of the activations of the units. So counting all the victory points, this one was worth two points at the beginning of the round, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore that's two. This over here, Actually, let's go here. This is obvious, right? You hold that one. So you have yes. three points. I hold this one right here. That's one point. So three to one. This one here, I have two models within three inches of the center. And you have one, but that's worth four because it's so big. Therefore, you hold that. So it's four to one. That's the score. I like a nice game. and I'm thinking that's contested, but... You know, rules as written, I do hold it. Rules as written, you hold it. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I did not have enough movement in spite of me running and you redeployed that and you moved after the fact because moving only counts as one action. So I think you got it. Yeah, done. Done. R round two. Round two. Beginning of turn two. This is a boost token that is neither mine nor Gaz's. It is a yellow one. What this is, is a bonus boost token given to the player who's down victory points. 
Currently, Gaz is winning with four. Currently. I have one. Therefore, this, when drawn, will be mine. Okay, we put it in the bag. Done. Done, done, done. And as you're doing that and pulling that, I gotta show off all the extra models over here, which are painted. And wow, look at Gaz. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, there's there's just a lot of stuff happening, okay? There's there's a lot of things everywhere. Uh, right in the middle of the play testing. It's exciting. Have you pulled yet? Yeah, what's going on? Why are you taking Well, it? I pulled, but then I, I want you to do it on camera because you Oh, you pulled? So did you see what you pulled? I, what what I, was it? I genuinely pulled one of my boost tokens, but you'd never believe me, so you know what? No, no, just take it out. I believe you. All it's all sense of fair it's play. It's yours. Uh huh. You're true. Well, you're, true. you're regular. You're regular. <laughs> you're, regular. you're regular. Okay. Out of the options that we have available to us, which is this cultist squad and this cultist squad, I'm gonna move this one. The leader's already moved up. It's already pre-measured. Their range is eight inches. And because of that, there's no penalty to shooting at these flesh melter. Flesh dealers. Steelers. Flesh dealers. Yeah, excellent. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fire at you. It's gonna be amazing. You ready for it? You ready for it? My fate is up to the dice right now. Yes, it is. Yeah. Ten shots, accuracy six. Looking at all this stuff. Uh, okay, so we get rid of one, two, three, 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 three. and we do have five that went through. Five. Yeah. Healthy. So I've got defense of seven. Roll me fortune. Oh, that's, I'll take that. Only one. I'll, only one, and there's two wounds apiece. Yes, so it's one, one uh, model one. removed. Phew. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it removed? You have two wounds apiece. I only inflicted one damage. You inflicted two. Did I? I'm pretty sure you did. Are you 100% sure? Well, you're making me question myself now, but I'm pretty... I, I, I don't know. I saw one fail. Did you see two? It's early. It's early. It's <laughs> not early. It's almost 11. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there was. So just remove one model. Which one? The one uh, that's closest? Remove... <laughs> no. Could no, you... hold on one second. Legit. You know what? We can just check the camera. Let's just do that. Should we check the camera? Yeah, there was a six and a four. You are, you know what? You are correct in your failure. So I was honest. You were. The yeah. honest gamer. Although there's no failure. Failure's an illusion, so that's fine. So I can remove them. Which one? Closest? Uh, Excellent. Farthest no, away. No. No. One that one at the back there, please. Oh, yeah, that guy. Backseat. Okay, here Yeah, backseat driver. Get rid of him. There you go. Pulling activation token. Let's see what we got. Whoop. Oh, that's you. Oh, that's a boost for you. <laughs> Options. Okay. So with my boost tokens, there are, what I want to do this turn is four things with utilizing the boost of the units. Thank you for telling me. The razor, I'll tell you, the razor wheel, the razor queen. Yes. Um, the flesh belter and the flesh dealers. Okay, so you okay. got four units you want to activate and do things with. Okay. With the boost tokens. With the boost because specifically. Because they all have nifty little abilities. Mm -hmm. So, however, I think because your intention is shown, you actually want to harass and take down the flesh stealers. Well, it was um, the only thing in range of the cultists. What do you mean, my intention? What else was I getting? Well, the flesh melt was in range. They weren't going to do anything to this thing. Like, thing is scary. This thing, like, burned the back of my tank away. So, like, gonna, of course I'm going to. It's going to burn the back of the tank again. So, I oh, think. Really? Oh, you're doing that. It's got 11 wounds left. Do you think you can take out the Apocalypse before no. it does more damage? No, but I need to do something to it before it does more damage. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to... Yeah, well, I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> no, I'll activate the Flesh Melters, I think, with a boost. Okay, boost. Yes. Oh, Excellent. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move them forwards. Mm -hmm. So they're in range four. And then... How far do they move? Ten? Uh, they move eight. They move eight. They okay. move eight. So I'm going to move forward within range four and then uh, boost my anti armor ability. So on a seven plus, you don't receive a defensive roll. Oh, that's brutal. And I want to get in short range or the weapon range of four inches because then I don't suffer any modifiers to uh, accuracy. Okay, so they're all now within four inches of the apocalypse. Dice time. Dice time. So would you want me to repeat that again? You can say it again. Actually, you know what? Yeah, point blank. These so, have point blank on their shooting attacks? They do, which it means if you're within range, basic range of your weapon, then you increase your attack by X. In this case, is one, so they get three attacks per model. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's 12. Okay, what are you gonna do? What's your accuracy? 
Uh, my, actually, that's a good point, actually. Hang on. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's me harping up doing my homework. Uh, it's five plus. And obviously, with the boost token, and that's in the anti armor. So I'm looking for fives, but sevens really what I want. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so one, I two, see four, five. Three, four. Five, yeah. yeah, that was a three. Okay, so there's five there, but you don't get a defensive roll. Four, and then there's one, two, there's two that you do. Five plus. This is my defensive roll. I get none of them. They're one damage a piece. So seven That's damage. a total of seven. Okay, seven, 11 to seven, and here we go with four left. What you gonna do to finish him off? Because you know, he can still fire at you. Something else is uh, activating now, so are you scared? Not really. Something else is activating now, but I've already pulled the token. Have you? As per Matt's instruction, he said you can pull the oh, token. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> it's no. No. Isn't that true? Yeah, he's teleported here. Yeah. Okay, all right, what is it? It is. It's mine, but it is a oh, support. Convenient. It's not convenient because I wanted to activate, oh, yeah, activate right. both of these. Hold on, hold on. You, yes. pulled, you just went with the boost token. That's true. That means I must go, because as per the rules, as we've been reading, once one side pulls a boost, the other side automatically goes. So you got to keep on pulling until I get one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's oh, yeah, that's, the, your, that's, that's my your, boost, because I'm losing yeah. right now. That's your sympathy boost. That's the sympathy boost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I love this so much, guys. So first and foremost, I'm going to activate do. the apocalypse. Now, he is below half, which means I do need to make a leadership test to see if he is shaken, which I pass with a six, um, kind of just a little bit barely, but I am actually activating with a boost token, which would have negated that anyway. So here we go, activating him. And what am I gonna do? Yeah, one of his boost abilities is multi-fire. So I am gonna move forward a little bit because multi-fire is a single action. I will make sure that I'm within 12, this is pre-measured with your Flesh Melter, okay? Because that's the Apocalypse Cannon. It's gonna fire at your Flesh Melter. But he's got some Flamers too, which are in range of your Flesh Stealers, which is eight inches. Shoot at both, we'll see what happens now, okay? You tickle my back, I rip your spine out. I, I think that's a strong. Yeah, that is strong. Um, I'm not, you, no, I'm, I'm excited to see how this goes out. Same. Goes off actually, because yep. the Same. weapon profile for the Flamer mm -hmm. um, does have some nifty little rules. It that, does. Yeah, it's just interesting to see how this plays out. Yes. Let's resolve the Apocalypse Cannon first. It's anti-armor and stunning, which means if I hit you here, you've got to make a leadership test to see if you're shaking. First off, for the stunning. Anti-armor, any seven pluses, negates any sort of defensive roll that you might have, okay? I need fours to hit you because you're behind heavy cover. Fours? Yeah, and you, you get plus one defense as well, right? Which is a big deal because it's AP five on this, man. I know. You it's need big. everything you got. I, yeah, I yeah. just need, I need the sympathy vote. So I need fours to hit you here. Uh, that's oh, three hits, no. that's three hits. Yes. Oh, yeah. Two of them are anti-armor. Oh, no. Ooh, right yeah, there. that's 10 damage right <laughs> off the bat. Now you have 13, so that's three. You got to make this. I know what save I'm going to make. Now, what is your calculation for your okay, defense? Okay, so my base defense is five plus. Mm -hmm. I am armored two, which uh, negates some of your uh, and your your, my five. Your five, sorry. Okay, so I basically have three. Yes, and then, but I have got heavy, I am behind heavy cover as well, so it's plus one to my defense. So basically plus two. It will be sevens I need. Sevens that you need, okay. Sevens you need sevens. sevens. You need a what, single I seven. I didn't even look at this. All right, here it is. Okay. Okay. What's the reaction? What's, what's the reaction? I don't, I don't know how to react. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to react. I give it away. Oh. <laughs> I get to see the explosion. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, no. The oh, wait, do you explode? Do you yes, explode? I do oh, explode. What is that? Okay, yeah, yeah. What, what, how does that resolve? Oh. I can walk you through it really fast. Yes, please. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. So, what is it? So oh. How many wounds does he have? 15? 15. So pick up 15 dice. <laughs> 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 okay. Now, it's only on 9 pluses, so you can roll the dice again. So he's probably going to get like 3 on average. 3 on average, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but. So normally what would happen, so what's your first off your explodes? Is it three inches or six inches? I think it's six. Six, 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 six inches. Because this guy's really volatile, so he explodes really big. Yeah. So every unit, friendly or enemy, within six inches will suffer a number of a number of hits equal to your nine pluses. Normally it's uh, damage one, EP one. But if you're large, it becomes worse. And if you're huge, which I think he is, he's huge. Yes. Is he huge or large? I believe I he's, he's huge. Oh, sorry, he's large. He's, he's large. large. Yeah. So then we have to look it up. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's damage two, two AP2. Two. 
Yeah. So first roll your nine pluses. Right, nine pluses. This is where I want to roll. You only roll it once, and it applies to everybody. You don't roll for each unit. Oh, that's right. cool. Now there's only one that's... unit within six, which is... Uh, with your blade fears. With yeah. your blade fears, okay. So that's so much quicker. All right, nine pluses, nine pluses. Oh! One, one two, two, three, three four. 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 So check, quickly check to see the damage and oh, AP of a large. Painful. Is it two, uh, two? I, I reckon so. it's going to be two, two, damage two, two as well. I think that the rules writer would know, but I've written so many rules and then rewritten rules yeah, and no. rewritten rules that I don't have them all memorized. It's, fa it's safe to the say that memorized. you know everything and you know nothing. Explode. Something like that, Something like that yes. Where's the yes. keywords? Here they yeah. are. It also depends which version you're playing. That's fair. So like how fast this video gets out versus like the last <laughs> one this afternoon. It might go out faster because a newer version, slightly newer version of rules. It might be, yeah. Slightly. Yeah. Just, okay, yeah. so the large is damage one, but increase the AP to two. Okay, so it stays yeah. at damage one. Which it's a huge echoes of damage. Yeah, which yeah, which is I, I will take because okay. I'm too. Yeah, but you gotta bother. make a you gotta make a leadership test on those dudes, right? Because a little half, half now. Specify ignores cover. If they go below half, so if they do, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 okay, so I've got a, six, a seven up defense because it's minus two. I've got a base defense of five, mm -hmm. but they are two wins apiece. So, let's see. Oh, goodness. Here it is. Goodness, come on, dice oh, in my favor. Oh, 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 oh. That's no, at least one. that's at least one. Yeah, I fail three. You fail three. I fail three. So one is removed okay. and one has one wound, one wound remaining. Okay, and you started with five in the unit. <clears throat> I did start with five in the unit. Okay, so yes. here's the test. Actually, just a quick question to the rules writer: mm -hmm. Is it per? Is it the base unit is to begin with? If it goes below that, or is it per? It's the, it's the first time a unit gets below half strength. <laughs> now it does, it does specify from basis. shooting or close combat attacks, but I am going to add in. Um, right now, he's adding in. The, of course, he's no. Actually, it, I'm yes. literally writing notes to myself saying, "Oh, I should clarify." Yes, that. yeah, that's a good clarification. Yeah. Um, so my leadership is five plus, and I don't believe there's any negatives or modifiers to that in range of that. Only so. if you're inside of a transport when it explodes, and then it's minus two. Oh, which yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. 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 flying everywhere. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, of you're off the objective. I'm off the oh, objective. Oh, excellent. The objective? Oh, it's way up there. He's yeah, way over there. So, objective. but still, oh, I am. We gotta roll to see which objective is worth two victory points. Let's do that. Very quickly. Yeah, okay, with the D6. So with the D6, yep. yeah. Two? Same it's one. the same one. Yep. Oh, how lucky, how lucky. I need something right now. You just kind of one bombed my flesh melter. These are now um, oh, well, stressed. Is that a D3 roll or a D6 roll? D uh, that's a D6. D6, so we've got one, two, five, three, six, four, five, six, three roll. Yeah. Oh. We just kind of. Oh. That was so satisfying. <laughs> it was not satisfying. Oh, by the way, that was only half the fire. Now I gotta uh, do the Oh, flamers. no, that's what I'm thinking of now. You've got like 10 minutes ago. So here, flamers result on the flesh deal. Now for the flamers back here. So I have four shots normally, but because it is blast, what you do is you add the number of attacks equal to half the, the unit. So there's four there, so two extra attacks, so six. And what do I need here? Uh, I think it's fours. Yeah, I need fours. So here we go. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's uh, five. Five. Yeah, that's five. It's uh, AP two and two damage, right? So they're two wounds apiece. Well, they are two wounds apiece, but yeah. with a defense of nine now. Oh, she's nine? I'm not really. Seven normally, yeah, seven seven normally the, sorry, okay. but with the minus two modifier, I'm right. not really holding up much hope. A five? Yeah. No! Yeah, that's, Ooh, that's it. I say yeah, that's one. It. Yeah, but they're all it. gone. Yeah, I think they're all gone. Melted. Wow. Wow. That, oh my goodness. The yep. apocalypse. And this is shooting. Like, we haven't even seen the ramming of the VTAT yet. That's what I'm excited for, guys. Are you excited for it? Oh, it's ecstatic. <laughs> Can, can I please have my... It's your fault. You wrote the... I know, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, I like it. No, I, I know. I'm you, spi you spiked your roll for the... the yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's good. Two seven pluses, good stuff, that was yeah. not likely. That's what a tank no, would that's, do. That's fair. It's not you know? likely. No, I've, I've learned enough of playtesting is you have to not knee-jerk change things. No. Yeah, I mean... You, that. you, you got to look at it and be like, yeah, but what do you roll? You roll all three hits. There, there are fours to hit. You could have easily missed one. Mm-hmm. And you got two of them with the seven plus. That's fair. And you boosted them for the multi fire. That's so the true fact too. That you were able to kill something else. You used one of your boosts for that. So. Yep. Yep. That's that was point. gorgeous. Even in a smaller game. So gorgeous. You have way more boost per ratio. Yep. I think at this size game, typically you'd have one less boost in the bag. Say two boosts. Yeah. And yeah. there's also this too. He's well, I don't down. Care. He's I down to four boost. wounds from twenty. Yeah. And, and so you spent a lot, right? So I probably killed what you took off of me. Hundred percent. Right. It's a, bit so a fair exchange. It's a fair exchange. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I do I plan like on this. adding a rule that when they get below half strength, they lose two of their accuracy, move, and defense. They as in what? This what guy would be? All of his weapons would be at two accuracy lower, two, and he'd be at left two lower defense and movement. Degrades. Yeah. So this represents that you've killed. 
half of it. Yeah. So you would have made those rolls on sixes instead of fours. Mm. You'd be moving four inches instead of six. And oh, the wow. next time people shoot at him, he's only a seven up defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. represent that his armor's been compromised. Yeah. So. Now for the next pull, it has to be yours because I just boosted. That's not. So it goes back in. Yeah, that's you. That's a, that's a support. That's what it was before. <laughs> Did you not want to go with your razor worm? I, I do, but I wanted to boost it. Of course you did. Yeah, yeah, which is fine. I can still get it into... Yeah, let's just let's just play it out. I'll do a charge move. Okay, charge uh, against the cultists? Um, well, that's the only thing I think I can yeah, charge probably. because with the difficult terrain and stuff, I'm not going to be able to get to the uh, VTAT, so I'm going to have to charge the cultists, which it's well within range, but for the sake, and then just... Now, how, what does that impact? <laughs> so this has impact attacks? It does indeed. Which are... Where's the unit leader for the cultists? In the middle right here. So he's within range of the objective? No. Oh, okay. So you don't need to worry about displacing. Don't need to worry about it. No, I wanted to get the boost off the displace unit over there. Just show it off. Okay, so it does you have... Shoved your unit leader off the objective. You have in heavy impact three. Mm -hmm. So it's two damage, two AP. Yes. My defense is seven, so I need nines. So it's three of them. They're auto hits. Um, I get two nines. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I mean, fair play. Just like, no. I know. Just stop. The, I mean, that's great. They just. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Just <laughs> what? It just, I love it because although it's a play tested game, it feels very real, doesn't it? it feels I like bet it does because that's just happened for you. It just like, <laughs> doesn't feel very real for me. Okay, yeah, so you, cool. it doesn't damage doesn't overspill, so that's only one dude. So just one dude. There you go. Here's the impact. He tried. Okay. Um, what else he got? I can't got five. <laughs> I've got five attacks. Okay. Uh, hitting on threes with piercing and reaping seven plus. So Ooh. I'm looking for sevens to kind of, yeah. you know. Oh, what are you saying that? Staying in combat, but you can still shoot at me. We'll see what happens. Well, yeah. There we go. There's there's a me dice roll. So, <laughs> you know, that's a piercing and reaping. So I'll put that dice next to that one for the extra attack. And I'm hitting on threes regardless. Now, so piercing is uh, an additional minus two to defense. Is that what piercing is? In this version, yeah. yes. Oh, has that been changed? It'll 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 mostly be twos. What I'm, I'm changing it now to be it'll be piercing seven plus comma two, which means on seven pluses you add two to the AP. But some of the weapons, like uh, this guy when he gains piercing, it'll actually be piercing whatever it is comma three. So he gets three extra AP when he pierces. So ah. that, that way it'll let me kind of have some variableness to it. Because uh -huh. I added a new rule called crushing. Which nobody has yet, uh, but crushing. This, this looks like it can, it can crush. Maybe the idea of crushing is that it adds to the damage. So right now we have something that adds to the number of attacks that hit. We have one that adds to the AP, but crushing is going to add damage. So it's like crushing nine plus would be nine plus comma one would be on nine pluses you do one extra damage. So like I can picture like hammers having crushing because right now the hammer on the ambassador has piercing. Not because the word doesn't work though, right? I mean, to represent that he's getting through the armor, but I'd rather him have crushing. So he doesn't really get through the armor because he's a wide hammer. Mm -hmm. But with the right hit, he can do more damage. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm yeah. trying to get that variability to it so that the keywords, you start to have fun combinations of these keywords. I, I, I like all of this yeah. that's happening. It's but, anyways. Awesome. So yes, okay. All right. So what's happening? What, what are uh, we doing? Well, what's happening? You've got five defensive rolls to Oh, make. do I? Okay. Um, they're all going to be 10. They're all going to be 10, yeah. Because yeah. your defense is 7. Are, crits are successes crits no matter success what. Not so here we go. Uh, I got <laughs> really? two. Really? two. I, I, I saved two. <laughs> Which means you don't go below half straight. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't make a, I don't make a real thing. <laughs> okay, so I do lose three, though. I mean, let's face oh, it. Oh, yeah, you yeah, lose yeah. three, so my fear doesn't even kick in. Yeah. Oh, this is... Um... It's uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty are excellent. Are they stunning? Are they stunning? No. Okay. No, no. So no stun needed, no, no shake and test needed. Okay. No awesome. nothing. Awesome. So another pull. I still, I still, yeah, I still did kill some, some blows. Hey, that's you can't, that's you can't, that's you can't that's beat, you can't beat the dice. What is it? My HQ. It's your HQ. Okay. <laughs> you didn't want to activate. Oh, boost my HQ. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> hey oh. man, you're winning technically. Technically, you're, you're winning it's with a victory very loose points, term. Right? Okay, I think I'm just going to. Um, oh, I don't really want to expose her too much over there. I'm I'm probably actually going to go to ground. Okay. Just to improve, improve a defense. Ah. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm going to go to ground just to improve her defense. So your Razor Queen is your command. Yes. Your commander. So yeah. Okay. So warlord too. Yeah, I'm warlord. You know what? So. These are four. She's oh, tired. She's tired. She needs wants to go no, swim no, in the pool. The... Oh yeah, still that there. Next activation. Oh, it's your boost. Oh, a now boost. you get the boost. Now I get the boost when I've activated the two units I wanted to boost. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And the two that you wanted to possibly boost. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to boost the. Um, Blade Furies. Blade, Blade Furies, Blade yes. Furies. Now, because I've boosted the Blade Furies, so I still have to do a leadership check. No, they're no. immune. Actually, so hold on one second. The shaken yeah, the yeah. Shaken is no longer there. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Yeah. And then I have a triple action. Right. I do. Uh -oh. So uh -oh. this is like uh -oh. a... Anti -armor. Uh -oh. Yeah, they are. Anti -armor. Uh -oh. they, they are anti-armor. Yeah. Uh, anti-armor what? Seven plus? Move, aim, shoot. Move, move, aim, ship. They're anti armor and nine plus. Nine plus. That's still not but bad. But they still got yeah, minus just, one AP. As a reminder, anti armor is negating defense roll if you get the nine pluses. Yeah. yeah but they are damage two. two. Oh, two that's attacks. a big deal. Two nine pluses. And how many attacks you got each? The two. They're two. So but you got to, you're not gonna get your attack for something though. But I do have crushing claws, which is piercing eight plus just to reduce your defense. But there's no, only, it won't be enough to get through. Won't be enough to get through. He's no. armored three. He's armored three, so it doesn't matter. So yes, I'm gonna move onto the objective. And then aim and then shoot. Okay, so you got shooting and you have close combat. Yeah. So they are six inches, which will get me into range. So good. Just round here, yeah. trying to stay within some form of cover. You and know what? The range. This is a lot of fun, Matt. This is this, this is, this a is lot like of it's fun. Been, the models help a lot too. Like I think the rules are good. I will say that and with with all humility. But like, look at that freaking model. Oh, no. you, you roll that thing around, and with that cannon on the top of it, this thing is huge. I don't know if the video captures just how big that vehicle is, but it's huge. And so something about rolling that up the table and then rolling dice for it and watching a big thing disappear and a bunch of little things disappear feels right. Yeah. So like maybe he's too powerful. Maybe I have to tone him down. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll balance things later. Taking a brief intermission here, just to show a size scale comparison, this is a uh, Chaos Space Marine Predator. And uh, this is a, an apocalypse from Ravage Star. Just to show the different model sizes. Um, well, I yeah. think this was, this was made after we kind of departed away from the idea that all of this was just proxy miniatures, right? And so now it's like design things for cool factor. So you get awesome things like this. Like the Predator's fun. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, it's but cool. This thing is like a tank of mass destruction. Yeah, it's different. It's, it's more akin to a land raider if you think about it. Yeah, but. so just also to show this, like that's a, this is a VTAT, so that's the uh, transport. But um, I'm writing, his, his rules are written that he's more a tank. He's more a tank. He's a transport guy. Yes. So I, because yeah. at first I'm like, you know what, we're just going to write him as a transport, which in 40k transports are a little boring, which is fine, because they're cheap. But this one, I'm like, no, that thing is huge, it's got to be awesome. And so let's treat it more like, almost, if, if you want to make the comparison, I'd say more like a Land Raider, which are both assault vehicles and transport. So, next. Four dice into your apocalypse. I need fours to hit because I had a triple action. I moved, took aim, and I'm firing. Oh, you took aim, so you get plus one accuracy. I do, but right. I'm at... Unless that's changed. No, that's no change. I'm at medium range, which just negates that, so it's still going back to the base of four. Uh. But I need nines. Nines. Nines! You get, oh, a, you get one, you get one, you get one. Okay. Okay, I've got one. So how much damage? Two? Uh, yes, initially. Wait, hold on. Are you shooting at this? No, I'm shooting at the cultists. Am of I behind I'm shooting... that? Am I? Do I get some sort of cover there? I'm just asking, right? This is just the. This is just the. Uh, it, I would yeah. say yes. Yeah. <laughs> now you say yeah because Matt says yeah. <laughs> it's not, I know you. <laughs> you still you would have hit on five, so it doesn't it don't, doesn't change this. Uh -huh. It'll only change the fact that you're a four up defense against it instead of a five. Instead of a five. Which won't matter to that one. No, because you negate my defense with that. So as long as you roll a four, that mattered. Okay, so now I go down to two. We know I go down to two because one of yours does that. But one, I need a four plus. No, you need two of them. I. Two more hits. Oh, two more hits. So you okay. fail one of these and that dies. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 and it's gonna blow. Oh, All right, twenty dice. Here we go. Oh, that's bad for me, man. That's bad. <laughs> so this clips three of my units. Okay, now Davicus is inside the VTAT, so I'm guessing he's safe. Now he should be. He's inside an armored transport. For goodness sakes, you too far away. The Blade Furies are safe. All right. Now we're looking at nine pluses here, and this is what. Damage two? 
AP2? Yeah, because you're huge. Oh man, this is huge. brutal. This is brutal. Okay, here we go. Spike! Um, one. Only one. Only one. Babe. <laughs> you got four. <laughs> This game doesn't work. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. I don't like this game anymore. Yeah, this game's, this game's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. Well, I've played too many games where you have big stuff and they don't explode enough. Uh huh. Because it's not balanced. Oh, not balanced. Is this <laughs> no, one? Blow up, no, blow up. No, blow up. Stuff. We try to make it. We try. You know what? I we, tried to. We saw what happened when something blows up. We saw that was an excellent blow up. But you okay. know what? We don't need two. That is now off the table. The fact of the matter is. The fact of the matter is that's gone. It so is, that's a no, huge. You still resolve them, though. Like you, yeah, that's fine. fine. You know okay, that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. it hit. Let's resolve this, okay? So defense seven to nine for the cultist. Okay, so one cultist is all good. Now here, V tap. This is five to seven. Okay? Oh no, he's armored, so he ignores the. Oh, you're still right. five. It's still five. Thank you for the reminder. Armored. I love it. That's the armored rule. So uh, fine. That's an eight. I think we know who wants that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now for the enforcers, let's see. They are seven, and they actually, they get hurt. Yeah, I yeah. presume they're two wounds apiece. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't, yeah, the one still is eliminated from yeah. that. Okay. Okay, that's good. Hey, I'll good. take that. Good stuff, you take, take it. That's gone. Take what's given, yes. That, yep, that's it, gone. Is it gone, though? I think it still remains in our hearts. I think that impression is going to echo through the eternities. I think that's what's going to happen. Well, I don't have a heart, so that is clearly <laughs> not within my peripheral right now. <laughs> okay. What? Like sludge. Wait, hold on, Gorkog's what? They didn't sludge? Well, well, who knows? We haven't dissected one yet. And yet, we will. Sludge in there, like a gonna... hamster wheel and <laughs> lump of coal or something, I don't know. <laughs> All right, next pull. The next pull. Would you please get one of mine? It's going to have to be one of yours, because... Because you boosted. You boosted. Oh. <gasps> oh, this is a support. That's... Oh, where? Where? Oh, nothing's close enough for me to ram. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can drive through my own dudes, right? Isn't that the rule? So I'm going to go forward and uh, you know, do something to those griblies. How about them apples? What we'll do is move this VTAT forward. Now you can go through your own dudes. You don't displace them. Is that the noise it Okay, <laughs> so he goes there. <laughs> now it's gonna do a charge move, which counts as ramming you, right? Which is awesome. We get to resolve and see how these rules work. We're on the objective. We got a couple razor spawn there. Let's see what happens. This has heavy impact three, which means that three auto hits at two damage and minus two AP. So what do you need, 10? So okay, seven up? Uh, defense or, or eight. Or two AP, right? Oh, they're eight. That's eight, right. so I need, I need, need crits. Need 10s, need 10s, need 10s. <gasps> nope, oh, no. Awesome, Dice. that was just the impact. That wasn't even the bulldoze. <laughs> Yep, right? they're but gone. if there were more of them, it would have been amazing. Now, I'm keeping them there because in future turns, I may have the chance to respawn. Of course, of course, yes. The objective is yours. Yours, for now. It did exactly what a tank is supposed to do. It's in the front. Yeah. Yeah, it's terror tactics. Shock tactics. Shock yeah. horror. Your turn. To pull. And pull one of yours. Okay. That's a troop. <gasps> These dudes? These dudes indeed. Uh, you know what I love about that? I love that you know exactly what needs to be done. It's like there's no question. You don't have to choose between 10 units. It's like, yeah, where are my, where are my regulars? Thank you for that. That is true. But that is the only regular unit I've got left to activate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh, run. Okay. Aren't there move four? Move four, six. Oh, uh, yeah, and then you can stick the other guys in the objective. With moving because forward. Because they're leaderless. Yes. This is one of their superpowers. Mm -hmm. Which is why their move is actually only four. Yeah, otherwise it would be like yeah, any, bouncing around. Well, any leaderless units, I've dropped sure. their movement to represent so, that they gain extra movement by putting guys up front. That's their run? Yeah, okay. To there? Yeah. Now, again, because they're leaderless. I can then swarm round using that one as my leader within three inches and an inch coherency to claim this objective if I can fit them all in because I'll have more models. So you only need the leader in range. Just so we're clear. Only the leader, so the actual model count won't count towards this or would it? It will. So, okay, so here's how it works. First yep. off, you're too close. Play the game properly, guys. Oh, wow, 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 wow. wow. lay down yeah. the hammer. <laughs> yes. So normally your leader has to be within three inches of the center, which it's not right from now. But when you go to say, when you go to claim the objectives at the end of the battle round, you can then say which one is your leader. So it'd be this guy. And the rest of them don't matter. 
they do matter for how many models are holding the objective, but they don't have to be on the objective. Only the Just leaders. the leader. Yeah. You only ever measure the leader for the objective, but you count all the models for the number. Oh. This guy counts as five because he's huge, and they would count as ten, so they'd hold the objective. I would have had this last, last turn then, because they all count yes, the objective. Yes, you would have, yes. Which would have made the... Wait, 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 wait. My leader wasn't in range, though. Yes, that was why. Right. That well, was why. The game is designed so you only have to carefully move one model. Okay, so then I actually had no models on the objective last turn, technically, because my leader was not in range at all. Could it have been in range, though, if you had realized that? Probably. Yes. yes. But, 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 yes. Here's, but here's the thing. No, 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 no. You learn, okay? You learn by dying. Okay, that's Fabian. A decade ago, that's what he said, and it rings as true. That is mine, and look, we were just talking about them, and it's poetic prophecy. Boom. See, now I gotta do something here. What am I gonna do? Mm. I don't know, I don't know. But it is the melee unit, which we haven't actually seen what they can do yet. So who who better than to actually do something here against your razor worm? Let's just move in, because that's what you do when you're doing melee. So you wanna, okay, so you can be, this is where your leader moving is actually important. That's the leader, okay. Yeah, so you would have moved the leader in the closest line to the, the model and then put the rest in coherency with the leader. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Because let's do this. So you would have basically removed a couple models to make way for it. Yeah, so the leader goes it, there. And then you just put the rest in coherency and as many as in base contact as possible. There you go. So one attack each. It's a accuracy six. It's reaping nine plus and piercing nine plus. So with reaping, any nine pluses, they count as automatic extra hits. So I get a crit, crit, and a nine. Um, I got to get the reaction because that's ridiculous. Okay, then, you spiked yeah, that's, that's, that's a bad. tremendous yeah. amount of dice. Yeah. Still got a tip yeah. Okay, yeah. so here, let's take that out and we're gonna oh, take no, that out. 20 wounds. So. Okay, so that's that. So now that's three, no, that's three extra auto hits, right? Yep. Okay, so that's a total of what, seven? So you've okay. got... But there's also, there's also the piercing. And what's piercing now? Uh, mine, piercing, is it minus two? Minus two. Extra two AP. Extra two, two AP, yes, yeah, minus two. Yes, we have which you ignore. Okay, I'm right. armored too, so it doesn't matter. Oh, hold on. What, do they have a base AP? Nope. Okay, then yeah, you're totally fine. So, how many is that? Uh, that'd be seven. Seven. Okay, it's one short of a corn, but that's fine. <sighs> I don't, it's just the indignity it's of it. losing wounds to like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> one, one, one. I would say reroll that. That's, that's, yeah, that's. No. <laughs> no, no. What's the I defense? Lost, it's it's five plus. It's five, okay. Okay, so I lost three wounds. To Colton. It, it was it was a direct exchange. That's the worst thing. My <laughs> unit that is like designed to reap through infantry. Yeah. More elite infantry, but yeah, you should have done better. Should yeah. <laughs> you should have done better. <laughs> Sorry, Sensei. I love when we match this stuff like that. So that was three wounds, wasn't it? Taking me down. Uh, yeah. To that was uh, what? Two seventeen. Wow. So I'll just mark it with. Uh, mark it with that. I'll just mark it with a D ten for now. Guys, you're being. You know what? You're being such a good sport. I love like playing games. See, this is this is why I like playing games. It's really not the game. It's just this. It's that face. I want to get that expression. I want to see the pain whenever things die. That that's that's what I want. Okay. Is it sadistic? Yes. But I embrace myself. That's who I am. I like to see yeah, the pain. Yeah. Well, embrace my this. Friend. Ooh, it's oh, a boost! Oh, that is a boost. <laughs> Good timing. What do you I, have left? I have nothing left. <laughs> yeah, so I that's saying. I have what nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the best. That would have been so good. Okay. You really yeah. Have so good. yeah. Do the oh my goodness. Well, he's, he so he has uh, Davicus as well that he's kept. That's in true. The Davicus on side. So Davicus so, 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 hit the queen. Well, actually, that's the next token out because we keep pulling until. That's right. Okay. Won't be able to charge. But I can shoot. Yeah, because it's a single action to disembark. Okay, and charging is a double action. That's right. Gonna disembark from the V10. Outside of an inch away from you, not engaged, not allowed to charge outside, so that's fine. On the objective, what is Davicus gonna do? I'm gonna shoot at the Razor Queen, right, with his pistol, right? Could have gone against the Gribblies, it's not gonna do anything. Pistol has a couple damage on it, right? Only a couple shots, mm -hmm. so here we go. Couple shots there, accuracy three plus. Oh, double okay. piercing. And it is piercing, right? So we know that's another two AP on the two. So it's basically AP four. And you're what, armored two? I'm armored two, so defense five, which takes up to defense seven. Yeah, okay, there we go. You have spiked some dice. Technically too. that was minus one to hit because he was he had gone to ground, but you rolled so high, it didn't matter. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. 
Sevens. Sevens. Oh, Not a chance. The piercing mattered. Two yeah, damage matter. each, so that's four damage total. Four damage total takes me out to six. Okay. All right. All right, interesting. Okay, and you know what? Is this a, am I goading you into a yes? I am. Yeah, that's a complete goad. Y no. Goady. No, no, I'm, I'm not I'm no. not being phased by this. No, you're okay? not. It doesn't no. look like it. I've still got a razor wound with 17 wounds. What's the hand in the bag the whole time? Like, oh, how? You know what? I don't think I have oh, you anything. You haven't got anything left. Actually, no, I got these guys. Oh, these yeah, you're the. One elite. Yeah, one elite left, and they're boosted. Whoops. Oh, that's good. They are yeah. boosted. Now, oh, I got to no. double check. You know what? Right now, I'm not holding that, and I need to hold something, and I don't like playing that. I don't, but really, do. what else can they do? You've got the objective of that. That's fair. I do have this one. You have that one because of ridiculousness. I have this one. Oh. So you need this one. We don't need anything. The question is, is there a unit with a nine? Because I can go through my own dudes, right? Not your big guys. Uh, not my big guys, so I can't do that. Well, you can, um, you can shoot into combat. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm going to move this way, and, then and yes, I'll shoot. Sure, I'll shoot. Because combat. you don't mind. It's only on ones that I actually hit myself. And Check if their you boosts do. as well. Yeah. Check their boosts. Yeah, That's true, because I am boosting them. I think it is. Boosting my enforcers, first things first. I'm gonna move my leader back here. So I'm within three of the center of that objective, so I'm holding it. And I gotta reposition a little bit just so I'm within three of him for coherency purposes. Now I can see through this liver there at your dudes on the objective. Because currently you're holding that objective, which is worth two victory points, right? So if I can fire at them, then maybe get them off there, maybe get a shaking test or whatever, we shall see. And if you do? then hopefully I get the extra boost token next turn. <laughs> ah, that's possible, right? That's possible. That's what I want. Yeah. It's a good trade, you know what, it's a good trade. I want that to happen. Yes, I want that to happen for you. Yeah. Because then if I do, but no my luck, I'll probably pull a regular support at HQ. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's five dudes there and the two shots each, so that'd be 10. In light of the fact that these are point blank weapons, one, which means if I'm within my range, which is eight inches, the thing I'm firing at, Get an extra shot, as was evidenced by your point blank weapon. How many minutes ago? So that's 15 shots now instead of 10. Dean, gonna do that. And since I'm within range, I don't need to use my sniper ability, which negates range penalties, because I'm within my range anyway. How do you like them apples? Plus one accuracy and within 12 of Davikos. Uh, exactly. So yeah. that's a tactically sound move. Tactically sound and, and more dies. And right? you're ignoring their heavy cover that yeah. they were going to get. Because you're in the heavy cover as well. Because I'm in the heavy cover as well. Oh, so this is a better option all around. Look at that. Look at that. It's also reaping a plus and piercing a plus. There's a lot of things happening, but you know what? It's not bad because the reaping every a plus is auto hits. Okay, I'm seeing oh. a good number of uh, eights here. That's a uh, four eight so far with another one here. So it looks like five in total. Uh. More auto. Oh, that's six. Okay, so that's six. So you probably need more dice than okay. you actually become. Yeah. Let's resolve this. You, missed, you missed once. <laughs> I did. So you need five more. Okay, five. oh my goodness. So 20 hits. 20 oh, okay. hits. Okay, all right. Why? Right. But yes. 12 of them are piercing, so they're three AP instead of one. Oh. You, need, you need tens for those. Okay, tens, tens for 10 or 12? 12. 12. Can oh I, my goodness. Can I just borrow eight, eight, nine pluses and 12, 10 pluses. Yes. Can I just borrow some dice? Yes. <laughs> just stole all my dice. Yeah. This is um, insane, man. This is. This is great. It actually feels like you say like stuff is dying. Yeah, there's a way better 10, option to go closer. 11, Twelve. You get rewarded for going closer. Yeah, I, I need I need tens. So oh, I got a couple in there. There's two, so four are dead. Eight are dead. Why are you rolling separate? They're all dead. I was oh. just trying to kind of oh, speed trying. up the process, but they're all dead. Those were the armor piercing ones. So the other um, ones. And the other actual saves. There was more than that, wasn't there? There were. Yeah, just a few more. Just a few more. So they were eliminated off the objective. <laughs> Excellent. And that's the last unit that activated? Uh, the last unit to activate, yes. yes. So that's the end of the round? That is the end of the round. Should we calculate, uh, calculate. some points of victory? Mm -hmm. So, I guess. So we just calculated it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I hold this. I have more models there. Okay, just yes. barely. Because you count as having how many there? Four. Four. Okay, so technically I have six. Therefore, I hold that one. I get one point. Here. We know what just happened. I yes. get two though, because that was determined to have two victory points. That's three for me. But you do get one here. So that's three to one. But if we tally it up from total uh, from the round before, <coughs> you have five victory points and I have four. That means you're still winning technically. <laughs> I get a bonus boost token. Yes. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excellent. Now I will say this is the beginning of round three. You want to go to five. Okay, you want to, but... I want I, to. I don't think it will. I want to. But it was four because the dice made it to four rounds, right? Ah, yes, yes. and then we roll... Yes. That's Let's, right. uh, okay. Oh. 
It's you. What is it? That's a true cultist. You know, it's actually both. Let's see. Which one should a I regular. Do? It's a regular. <gasps> I actually damaged you last time. You did. I'm really tempted to do something here. But these dudes aren't doing anything right now, and they could either run towards that objective or they could shoot you. I'm thinking shooting you is better. Ooh, okay. Yeah. That, that's yeah. up to you, buddy. Okay, done. Nine shots here with the guns of the cultists here. There's no special anything, it's accuracy six. I'll spend an action to aim, which is plus one accuracy, which negates the fact that it's in medium range, which would otherwise be minus one to my accuracy. Now, you're not being blocked <clears> by <throat> terrain, therefore you're out in the open technically. So like, 100%. Yep, yeah, okay. All right. So here we go on sixes. Uh, okay, getting four, uh, four hits there. That's pretty good. No AP. No AP, so I've got five plus defense on four dice. And... <sighs> okay, okay, what the heck? Your two wins a piece though, so only one dies. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so my, my leader has one left. Oh my goodness. Um, which, that guy's my leader. Yeah. Um, course, yes, but yes. now I do have to take a uh, shaky test. But the thing is, you already took it, didn't you? When you do it the first time the you The first reduce. time you do it, but then. Yeah, when you activate them, you take it. When I activate it, I take it because I'm under half strength. Thank you for reminding me of that. So. Yeah. Hey, well, why do I. Why am I remembering that? Nope, something's wrong. That's I, good. No, that's good. I shouldn't be the one remembering this. Why? What? I don't remember rules. You, you've had that's one not more, who I am. One more game than me. Oh, there you go. Okay. I have double the rule knowledge, there, obviously. <gasps> Oh, it's Davicus. Davicus, yes, I wanted to. Da, 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 yes, we can actually do something with this. Oh. <laughs> Davicus will on the charge. And you know what? Here, let's do this. Uh, you know what? My tank's on that thing anyway. Oh, we got to roll to see which uh, one is worth more points. Let's do that. Okay, five sixes re roll. And yep, I say it. Because, re roll. Yeah. I love that name. Yeah, it's a good name. It's catchy, isn't it? Re roll. It's catchy. Re roll. Yeah, I gotta re roll. Re roll it. Re roll. Oh, come on, look at that. Oh, re roll. What is with the re roll? There we go. Do it again. <laughs> oh, why? Thanks yeah. to your strengths. It was meant to be. Now for the corrupted claw with the five attacks. I hit on threes with my accuracy. Four and attacks. it is reaping eight plus. Okay, so eight pluses are more. So here we go. I get two. Reapings, so that's two additional auto hits. Six. Yep. Yeah, that's three damage AP two. Three damage AP two. And stunning, what? so it causes uh, you to you know, me, me, me. make a test. Uh, I am armored too, so I will negate your. Yes. Whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, and I've got a five foot defense. It's three damage. Per attack, okay? So you gotta save these with I your- I failed two of these, I'm, I'm done for. Are you? Because yeah. you're at what, six? Six. Left, yeah, don't fail two. Can roll one for Which dramatic. Uh, my defense is five. Right, you wanna roll one at a time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, that's, that's a fail already. Well, don't fail another one. That's a fail, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that the noise? Uh, actually, <laughs> yeah, it does now. I'll see if it explodes. No, it doesn't. What? No, it doesn't explode. Yeah. I yeah. guess that makes sense. Activation. You watch now, it's your boost token. No, no. it's me. Oh, that's a Razor Queen. Oh, she's gone. Oh, great. Uh, oh, it's my Elite. Your Elite. Okay. I actually get a go. Your Blade Fury? <laughs> yes, my Blade Furies. Okay. Very Blade Furies, let's go. Let's go. So, what am I going to do with these guys? Well, first off, you got to roll to see if it's uh, See if they're shaking or not, because I was hoping to pull a boost token to negate that, but I didn't. So let's roll that. And I think that Six. they're okay. Yeah, you're good. I'm pretty sure they're okay, oh, leadership yeah. five plus. Oh, yeah. But what am I going to do? I'm, at, um, I'm probably with that guy just gonna go to ground, like so. Um, so because that's an action or a double action? That's a double action. Yeah, it's a actually, yeah, can I get some shots off on them? It's not really gonna do much though at this tender. In fact, no, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move and shoot. I'm gonna try and shoot these guys. I'm not in this for objective camping. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, do I look like you I can, can afford that, can you? Because you're currently winning, Gaz. You can still win the game. <laughs> Not a chance I'm going to win this game. So I'll go out in a blaze of talons and glory. Excellent. Uh, so Cool, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Minus one to hit, two attacks. So I'm hitting you on fives and I'm attacking your... Uh, I am enforcers. Enforcers there. So fives. One. 
nothing special on that with the with any uh, triggers. So it is damage to AP one. Okay, damage to AP one. So a defense five to six because of the AP. Come on, buddy. That's a fail. Yay! How much damage? Uh, one damage. Okay, one guy's wounded for one. Wee. Yeah, with the Razor Queen gone, that goes my hope of respawning more Razor spawn, so... <gasps> Happy. Really? Happy, Hold yes. Hold on. I... You, can, you can respawn. You don't... It's not like you... Oh, your Razor Queen. Yeah, it's... Yeah, sorry. Your Razor Worm can't respawn. No, so if the Razor Queen was still on the, on the field, I would have respawned some Razor Spawn. Can you only respawn with a boost? Yes, on the Razor Queen. Ah, gotcha. So the boost would have been ideal. Mm -hmm. However, tis not the case. Uh oh, what's happening? What are you doing? What's that is the question. I, are you redeploying? Uh, yeah, I will redeploy because now I think the glory is eating Davicus. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the ball is going to be in your court okay. because I can redeploy with our little playtest mechanic. Yeah. Excuse me, ignoring the eight inch away. So I'm going to take him. So for context, your razor worm is able to redeploy. <sighs> So Meaning, under the table, you can take him off the table, it goes underground, and actually put him somewhere else. Now, normally the rule is, normally the rule is, you got to be outside of eight inches of an enemy unit. But this thing in particular ignores that, and you can actually redeploy him anywhere, displacing enemy units. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do that with Davicus? I am going to do that with Davicus. So, so I will awesome. de deploy in such a way that you've got to go around one inch away from my base. Yes. So I'm going to... Oh, you're pushing me off the objective, Or you? push you to... Yeah, 100%. So... Amazing. So you actually steal this objective from me because you're worth four. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so that's smart. you've got to go somewhere. I mean, you can still go here, you know, because it's the controlling player that Dick has to do it, but... I suppose that's true. Yeah, but in certain situations, that would be really really powerful. That would be really powerful. Now what I do need to do is since you displaced me, I do need to make a test to see if I'm shaken. Yes you do. Yep. So here, let's do it. For my leadership. I get a one! I'm shaken from that, guys! <laughs> awesome. See that's that's fun. Yeah. Because when you redeploy you displace, but you don't attack, that kind of is your attack. Right? Because now you because you're shaken, you don't count towards VP. Correct. So actually Yeah, I can't score that objective. Oh. Yeah, that's that's awesome. And yeah. that was one action. Mm -hmm. With my other action, I am going to. Oh, what do I do? What no, do no, I do? no. Redeploy is two actions. Is it? I don't know. Is it? Is it only one? Ah, uh, okay. We changed it. Yes, but the redeploy and doing that. Oh, of course, because it's in your favor now. It's a double action. Okay. Is that what we decided? See, I was advocating for this to happen. I had a discussion with Matt about it. Okay, rule a cool one. He's like, how's it feel? Dave feels really cool, even though it's to my detriment. That's what I said, my words. What are you saying? I mean, it is part of the boost action, so I can choose a swift or redeploy. Right. And redeploy is one action. You know what? And because it's me, mm -hmm. it costs two actions. You know what? Rules is written. Currently, no, I no, think don't do it. No, you no. have another action. Go. I don't, I don't want to no, use it. No, why? I, I, I don't want to use it because I'm quite I'm happy just there. bugging you. No. Go. Oh, um, I think, no, I think the, the fact it can displace as well and redeploy, I think that warrants one action, to be honest. Uh, to, a double action. That's what it yeah. feels so right. Matt did mention that. Yeah, on that a serious note, sense. it feels right. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So basically, what I've done, I've left those alone. Go underground, popped up, flipped out because it's in the air, and now he's a bit stunned. Yeah. Taken. It's cool. Sold. It's so thematic. Yeah, I love it so much. Even though it's like he looks like a fool now, but that was so cool. He's on his back. He's on his back. Now. Looking up at the sun. Elite. Oh, it's your elite. Yeah, I think it's about time I get the razor worm. Enforcers are going to fire a razor worm <sighs> within are. eight inches, which is their gun range. Therefore, my point blank affords me extra attacks. So, with my two actions, the first one will be spent on accuracy or focus rather focus focus is plus one accuracy right so um yeah gonna oh, do that what are you hitting on now now davicus has an aura 12 inches which improves its aspiring leader so it improves their accuracy by one but he's shaken currently shut down he got so, beaten yeah. so we're gonna yeah. play that so it's shut down and it doesn't which makes sense he just got flipped in the air by the razor worm 
It's thematic. It that would make sense, sense to me. Yeah. If I was lying on my back going, Brr, in fact, I've if got... anything, they're thinking he might be dead. Right? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. I'm in no position to be like, you men, ain't yeah. better. No. Exactly, right? Okay, enforcers, here we are with the uh, five plus, um, but it's actually four plus because we're focused. Oh, by the way, we're also reaping. <laughs> we're e reaping eight plus. So any eight okay. pluses are additionals, right? So we don't have too many there, just three. So that's three additional hits there. You got three misses there? Uh, so that's 12 hits in total. Damage okay. one on these. So just defense of five. Mm -hmm. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. How many wounds do you have? Seven? Are you down to two? No, no, I've got 17. Oh. So I'm down to 12. Oh, still. Okay. You know, that's still not a... Uh, hey, that's okay. It's not a good... That's, that's a good fail. fail. I don't like these dice. They don't like me anyway, I know that. Um, Next activation. It's all you, buddy. All right, let's see. Yep, that's a boost. You've got a boost. Who am I boosting? No. <gasps> I'm gonna boost this. Why? So I can ram into you. Yes, we haven't seen this yet, guys. No, we've not. Let's do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. On second thought, Gaz, I'm not going to activate the VTAT and Ram India here. I'm actually going to activate Davikis because he was shaken. I'm going to activate him with a boost token. It gets rid of the shaken. He's which not shaken. enables me to actually count towards holding that objective. Pardon me. So that's the better choice. Plus, I get to actually use Davikis now, and his claw is pretty awesome. So let's see with what boost? he... With boost? Well, yeah. Yeah. So I will do a charge move here Bruh. for a double action boosting, which means I gain impact four. Okay. Those are one damage, uh, one AP, four automatic hits. So you roll your defense. I just roll my defense because of being armored. You're armored, so AP doesn't matter. Oh, really? But did two go through there? Oh, I think so. I yeah. think you're like defense five. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the indignity. It's just, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's That's death by a thousand cuts. Everyone watching right now, that come on created so much serotonin. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, so that's that. Now yes. for the actual claw attacks. <sighs> okay. Now the actual attack itself is hitting on three. Okay. So we got uh, that's cock. Let's reroll that. Oh, that was nice. I'd say that's three. Um, okay, and then we have uh, reaping eight plus. So two are reaping. So two go right back in. So that's fine. They do. So that's five attacks, and this is uh, three damage, uh, AP two, which doesn't matter because you're armored. But it is stunning, so you got to roll for that too. I don't think I'm. I don't think I have to roll for it. I'll probably be dead. After you think so? <laughs> yeah. Think so? Three damage though. Yeah, I've only got uh, ten left. Okay. And it's five up. <gasps> five up. Okay. Easy. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Those go through. So six damage. You're down to four wounds. Six damage. Wow. That's brutal. Yeah, that was a bit brutal, man. Oh my hey, goodness. He is the... Uh, well, that was fun. That was good. The leader of the Veil Touched. Um, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what? When, it, when the leader of a faction mm -hmm. is fighting a support, I don't expect any less. You know what? That's fair. Right? Boosted. Because, like, how many leaders do we typically see at the back lines? Not wanting to get hurt. You're rolling an eight. What's that for? To see if you're just shaking. Like, well, yeah. You're not shaking. I'm not shaking. You're no. fine. You're a razor worm. You're and fine. now I'm just going to keep on pulling tokens until, yeah, until we pull. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Oh, it's Ooh, your, uh, it's, is? it's your sympathy boost. Okay. I get the sympathy boost next turn. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to activate these dudes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? No, forget it. We'll just do this. Okay, I'll, I'll, oh, wait. Uh, we're in combat. How does that work? I don't think I can ram you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ooh. Yeah. Ah. I don't know how that works. It, it probably works similarly. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. We yeah. don't know. I'll tell you what. Shall we just do this instead? Because there is room for the VTAT to actually engage in base or one inch away. Uh-huh. And Davicus is all the way over here. And I can just imagine Davicus and the Razor Worm fighting. And then Davicus goes to like throw a punch. And the razor worm just goes, woof, and he's like, where'd you just go? To be fair, Gaz, the heavy impact is something I would get if I charged you, right? So whether he's boosted or not, he gets that. Regardless, yeah. So I'm just going to charge you. Yeah. And those are three auto hits? Yes. At 
two damage AP2. AP doesn't matter because you're armored, but the two damage does, and there's three of them. So five. One at a time. Okay, one at a time. First one. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, it's oh, the second one. I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. Look, watch over this, right? <laughs> watch over this. I can't roll a five plus to save my life. And no, he's done. He's done. You finished off my razor worm <laughs> by ramming it with a VTAT. That's pretty cool, though. You that's got pretty it. cool, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. awesome. Okay, you want to call it there? You want to call it? You do uh, have a Blade Fury, one Blade Fury left. I do have a Blade Fury left, um, and I will call it in the sense of the probability of me yeah. pulling out that, it's going yeah. to be nine. And, and what can I do? I don't think, Epic thank handshake. you. Epic handshake. Epic, yeah, yes. that was a lot of back and from. That was yeah. really interesting. I, <sighs> good dice rolling, buddy. Thank you very much, guys, uh, for that. Obviously, that was a lot of fun. It um, was. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, completely unsure. And by the way, uh, for those watching, there is no balance to the list. We just chose units. Stuff that looks cool. Stuff that looks cool, right? We don't actually know that yet. Calculation of like value cost of units and no. army building, that needs to be ironed out. And to be fair, at the very beginning, when Matt asked me, which one do you think is going to win? I said, I think, I think Veltouch is going to win because it has those tanks. I didn't know the rules yet. I was just looking. Yeah. Right? So that was just an impression. And what did that turn out to be true? Granted, there's a lot of lucky dice rolls, right? Um, you didn't get to spawn the extra razor spawn unit you know, with your razor queen. That would have made a difference. Huge difference. Right? Um, so I still think it would have been close, right? That's an extra unit of throwing in, like screening stuff. And that's a big deal. And also, no. bring it back, dudes. And bring it back, dudes, as well, exactly. And that was my commander. So I would have yeah. lost a. Um... Boost token. Yeah. That's, out of a pile. That's a lot of utility so, there. I think that list would have been better if I had a like a named character that could give out auras and stuff like that because the Razor Queen can't. Mm -hmm. So cheers, Matt, for your army selection. No, <laughs> no. Um, That's true, Matt chose the army. Yeah, cheers, Matt. Um, I think one more unit and it would have felt a lot more balanced. You think so? Yes. Um, yeah. Especially yep. something anti armor because that, I was happy to take out the Apocalypse. Yes. Because imagine that thing boosting three turns. No. Yeah. That with the no. multi fire. Like... Yeah, that thing is immense. You know, being able to basically take out two units in one round of shooting and two, you know, my anti armor units. So. Yep. Um, Crazy. But it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does. And that's what I like. It does. Ex I, I don't know about what people think at home that are watching. I want to see the razor worm with some anti-armor capability, whether it's a boost or something. Yeah, what would you guys add to this to kind of, I agree, it needs a little more. A little bit of a upsell, okay, yeah. It needs an extra rule. Something. Uh, some, maybe an extra, like a, some sort of ranged attack, spit out some, some like spikes or something. Corrosive like, acid or something, corrosive or acid. whatever yeah. the case may be. It needs something else to really have a, a solid impact from, because if it does redeploy or advance deploy, mm -hmm. because that's an action, it can move. That's right. And that's about it. That's about it. So if it could pop up and shoot, but it doesn't have to be super powerful, just something. By the way, yes. Um, the rules are now released, like the, the alpha rules are now released on Discord. Okay, so we'll provide links for that. Oh, they? Below. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So if you're watching this, yeah. you can totally engage. You can read the rules. Like, obviously, things are subject to change. We're in the middle of playtesting right now. But the core rules and the framework of it is there. There is a framework. There's a sandbox where we can actually put together universal special rules, add them to units, and see what happens. Permutations are a lot. There's a lot that you can create. There's so many. There's so many factions and so many different unit types that you can actually create oh, with the existing universal special rules. So many combos you can so do with this. Now I'm thinking about it in my head. I'm like, yeah. whoa. And it's, whoa. Only, it's only my second game. Yeah. Your third game. Is it my third? Third. Is played it? Matt. We played. And now we just That's fair. Game. That's fair. Yeah, that's true. So it's just our third game. So good. Super easy to pick up. Um, very easy to pick up. So I'm still getting used to some of the wording and the terminology. Yeah, of course, yeah. But, yeah. you know, tomato, right. tomato, we know exactly what it means. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. there's no confusion there, bar 
my cognitive brain. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, thank you guys for your feedback, for your comments, and your participation in this. This is. Uh, no, thank you. It's been amazing, and it still continues to be amazing. I want to play again. Okay. But nobody have time. Done. Not <laughs> so, today. Not today. But we can tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Now tomorrow. Okay. What do you guys want to see? That's the question. So here's some more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look at all these units. So look at the Grudge Walker. Let's see what this does. Right. What is that doing? The back? what about these? Uh, I want to try the Mind Walker again. Oh, the Mind Shackler. Yeah. Mind Shackler. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and I want yeah. to try the, the Flame Terror. Did that do anything? Stalkers. Yes. You got all the Horde Master. I oh, forget the Horde Master. I want to try the uh, the Flesh Scorpion. Yeah. Type thing. Something, uh, yeah, I forget the name of it. I forget the names, yeah. And these oh, are... Th the Plasma Spitters. Oh, Plasma Spitters, you gotta see what they yes. do. Yes. Yes. Okay, there's that, yeah, awesome. And then you have these little dudes. So these dudes that walk up, and they just uh, totally just uh, explode. Ah, the, the Bomb Spawns. Yeah, <laughs> Bomb Spawns. Bomb Spawn. Awesome. Yeah. And then you got this character. You know, what does this guy do? What is this, what's this guy all about? Yeah, you know, honestly, there's so many new characters. Haven't delved into every single one yet. Off and the top of my head, I don't even remember his name. Well, these guys are like the more yeah, the Razorbacks. Razorbacks. These are Razorbacks. Razor yeah, yeah, they're cool. Uh, yeah, there's more like Veil Touch stuff that I want to try as well. Like we have Nakar on Kel, right? He's uh, he's an incarnate, so he's got some magic powers. To see how he wields, he's a commander, obviously, right? So I think we should do uh, Veil Touched versus Amari. You want to do Amari for that? Oh, Veil Touched versus Amari. You're right. We haven't done that yet. We haven't done that yet. So you're the Veil Touched. I'll be the Amari. How about that? Because you don't you, you don't like the Amari, and you know what? You bring Tyric because you are Tyric. Yes, we've yes. seen Davikus play. Yeah, and we'll see how Tyric plays. Yes, yes, definitely done. Yeah, done. Done. Awesome. Shake, shake, shake on it. Okay, shake on it. Excellent. Shake on it. All right, stay tuned, guys. Stay hey, you tuned. Saw it. Stay tuned. This is so awesome, guys. Links below to campaign. Okay, launches November seventh, twenty twenty three, noon Eastern time. Do it. Get the free mini. Get the free mini as part of your pledge when you follow before we launch. Where is it? I okay. wanted to show it. Yeah. Here he is, Yuri and Lasgor. Okay, this is a sample from the factory. This is actually PVC plastic, the gray one. This is a 3D print, so it's not the final. But uh, yeah, take a look at this and look at the look at the bendability. Oh, yeah. This is nuts, man. That's insane. Okay. This is insane, right? Like I don't want to do that just in case. No Marlock, I'll snap it. Like, look at like it's it's look at this. Do, 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 do. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, so right? Terrible. It's it's an, isn't it nuts? Mm -hmm. Like come on, like you would you would think that stuff like this is like more brittle. More brittle, like it should be. Like here's here's the the crazy part. Like this is like like that's the crazy part actually, and like that's the crazy part. Oh, sorry, Josh. I didn't mean to like. Uh, I do stuff to you. Just but, trashing yeah. Josh's, my office, Josh's yeah. office. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, you get this mini for free if you follow the campaign before we launch. You get it with your pledge. You got to pledge to get it, though. It's not like, oh, free mini for nothing. You have to pledge, pledge to, get, to get the free mini. But you get the free mini if you follow before we launch. Okay. So, and this is a mercenary you can use in any army. Use with your Agor card. Which is interesting. I want to yeah. see how I can. I want to see what he does. I, I want to I, I see rules. Uh, honestly? Okay, you know what? We're just going to. We're gonna create the rules for him, and yeah. then field him. Of course, of course, we gotta see what he does. Well, can I field him in my Amari tomorrow? Sure, done, sold, excellent. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs>